watch this clip and then we'll talk about it. <laughs> The good news, she left him. So we can take a collective sigh of relief at that. But we're still going to use this as a teaching moment. I've talked about what I'm about to talk about in this video at length several times. And this is the grumpy boyfriend, the grumpy husband. You know, the one who never wants to do anything with you. They're always tired. Anything you're interested in, they can't stand it. They don't have time for it. And then when they finally do something that you want to do, they bitch and complain the whole entire time. And God forbid you say anything like, oh, can you smile for this picture? And then, oh my God, it's the end of the world. And so many women, and it's really sad. So many women are like, yeah, my husband doesn't want to do anything with me. And that's why I just do things by myself with the kids. And they say it like that is a flex. But it's actually very far from that. It's just another form of saying that you've settled. You're going to continue to be with this man who acts like he doesn't want to be with you. You have a family with this man who isn't acting like a family with you. You are sleeping next to someone who can't stand you. And your solution is just act like he's not there. Mm, no. There's this saying that's been around for a long time. I can do bad all by myself. Mm -hmm. If I'm going to be by myself and do things by myself as if you don't exist and walk over you like you're a, a tree stump or something, I might as well just be by myself. But unfortunately, because of patriarchy, because of internalized misogyny, we as women have somehow made ourselves believe that at least we're married at least we have a boyfriend right a bad boyfriend's better than no boyfriend but like i was saying a huge issue is thinking that we have to be with somebody and thinking that we have to do it by a certain age so then we rush and then we settle because if, if, if future me would have came to younger me and said hey you're gonna be 40 and you're still gonna be single y'all i would have had a nervous fucking breakdown i would have forced it i would there no telling but until women get to a point where we will be single for as long as it takes, until we get treated the way we should be treated, things are still going to be the same. Until we stop centering men and crying ourselves to sleep because we don't have anybody. <laughs> and, you know, we're jealous when we see happy couples and we can't stand it and we just obsess over it. Stuff like this is still going to happen. Until women collectively become empowered enough to, as soon as shit like this starts to happen, we cut it short, stuff like this is going to continue to happen. Until women stop settling for, well, I'll just act like he's not here. I'll just do things with just me and the kids. I'll just hang out with my girlfriends. I'll just do stuff without them. As long as women keep saying that, we're going to keep having situations like this. I'm at the point where if you act like you don't want to do anything with me, okay, you don't. For the rest of your life, you can stay the fuck away from me. Forever! Because I want someone in my life who can add to my happiness, not take away from it. And now I'm having to manipulate and twist and contort and change myself to make them happy and to not involve them in my life while they're simultaneously supposed to be in my life? Absolutely the fuck not. You deserve to be with someone who's excited to be with you, who wants to do things with you, who plans things for you, and who plans things with you, who wants to do things with the family, and who doesn't act like you're a fucking bother to them. Like, ew, no, absolutely not.